Today in the Joy of Editing, we're continuing our journey through all of the filters and Nick 8 color effects, and today it's Selective Tones Vivesa. Stay tuned. Hello, everyone, and welcome to the Joy of Editing with Dave Kelly. We are continuing our journey through all of the filters and Nick 8 color effects, and today it is Selective Tones Vivesa. This is a really good one where you can Adjust highlights, midtones, shadows, and blacks. I'll give you four different examples today. And here's a quick heads up. If you're thinking about Nick Collection 8 or any DxO software, you can grab 15% off new purchases with my code Dave Kelly. Links are in the description and you can try any app free first. If you use my links, I earn a small commission at no extra cost to you. Thanks for supporting the channel. What is Selective Tones all about? Well, think of Selective Tone like precision tone shaping. Instead of increasing contrast everywhere, you can target highlights, midtones, shadows, and blacks separately. That means you can pull back a bright sky, lift shadow detail, and add midtone punch while keeping the photo looking balanced and realistic. I'll start out with this image. Now, I want to work on the sky separately from the foreground. I'll start out with highlights. Now, I'm looking at the sky only right now. I'm going to pull my highlights back to right there. And now I'll work on the midtones. I think I want to darken up the midtones a little bit back to right here. Now, that only targets the midtones. Now, the shadows. I think I want to open up the shadows a bit in the sky. So I'll take this over to right there. No real blacks here. If I shut this off by unchecking, you can see there's the before and there's the after. Now I only want this in the sky. What I want to do is use a control line. Come down to local adjustments and click this button right here. And what I want to do is like click right about here, click and drag down to say right here. Now here's a little tip. Right now, if I click on this button right here, we can see the mask. But you'll notice it's only affecting the luminance and chrominance values where this is set at. But here's a little tip. If you want to use this like a graduated filter, just take this luminance slider, drag it the whole way to the left, and then take the chrominance slider and drag it the whole way to the left. And you see what that does? It makes it a graduated filter. That's a little tip. Now, if you click this button again, you can see the image back. And now if I shut this off, you can see here's the before and here's the after. But we're only affecting the sky. And now I want to work in the foreground. So what we need to do is get another selective tones filter. So I'm going to come to the left side of the interface and click right here and open up my filters. And these filters are in alphabetical order. And I have mine set to all Nick filters. And you're going to find selective tones right here. Now you got to click the plus. When you click the plus, you're going to add another selective tone filter. I only want the foreground, so let's go ahead and click on the control line. And I'm going to click like right here, and we're going to drag this up to maybe right about here, I think should be good. And remember, if we click this button right here, we can see the mask. And let's go ahead and do the same thing. Take the luminance and drag it to the left. Take the chrominance and drag it to the left. And then we could click right here and adjust the angle of this if it's a little bit off. I think that's going to be good. Good enough for this demonstration. Now let's click right here so we can see the image back and now let's make the adjustment what I want to do is take my highlights back I'll drag this slider to the left and I'll take it over to like right there and now let's work on the midtones I want to open up the midtones a bit not too much but a little bit over to right about here and now let's work on shadows I do want to open up the shadows a bit so we'll drag this shadow slider to the right over to right there and let's give it a little bit of blacks now if you take the black slider to the right you're going to open up the blacks but if you take it to the left of zero you'll darken the blacks a little bit and I don't want to go too much just a little wee bit to right there minus six percent now if I shut off this selective tone for the foreground there's the before and there's the after now let's come and click on the compare button and we started out here and we end up here. But that is selective tone. That was our first example. Now let's move on to a different example, a different type image. Let's try it out on this portrait. It's a little bit dark, so I think we can make it look better 
Now, right now, we're at the default settings. Everything is set at zero, so basically no adjustment. And I think I'll start out by taking my highlights back a little bit, reducing the highlights a little bit back to right there, minus 17%. Now, let's work on midtones. Let's open up the midtones a good bit. I'll drag this midtone slider to the right, and I'll take it over to right there, 51%. That's looking better. And now let's look at shadows. Let's open up the shadows. I'll drag the shadow slider to the right. If you drag it to the right, you'll lighten the shadows. To the left, you'll darken the shadows. So let's take it to the right. I'm going to take it over to right there, 36%. And now for the blacks, I just want to darken the blacks a little bit. So we'll drag this to the left. And I'll take it to right there, minus 10. Now let me shut this off. Here's before and here's after. But just that quickly, you can take the image that looked like this and turn it into an image that looks like this. And now let's try another example. Let's try it on this architecture shot. By the way, Selective Tones does come to us from Vivesa. This is something we needed in Color Effects, and I'm glad DxO brought this ability to adjust highlights, midtones, shadows, and blacks right here in Color Effects. On this one, I think I'll open up the highlights a bit to maybe right there, 47%. And now I want to open up the midtones. Let's open up the midtones, not too much, but over to right there, 23%. And now I want to open up my shadows. I'll drag the shadow slider to the right over to right there, 52%. And now I want to darken the blacks up a little bit. I'll drag the black slider to the left. I'll take it to right there, minus 19%. Let's see a before and after. I'll click right here and shut off selective tones. There's before, and I'll turn it back on, and here's after. So pretty cool. I have one more example for you. Let's try it out on this image. I'll start out with highlights. I want to reduce the highlights a little bit, not too much. Let's go right here, minus 20%. Now midtones. I want to open up the midtones slightly, not too much. Right there, 8%. And now let's open up the shadows. I'll take that a good bit, over to 37%. And now for the blacks, I just want to darken the blacks a little bit, not too much, over to right there, minus 7%. Let me shut this off. Here's before, here's after. I really like this. But I do have a little problem with the road or walkway here. I would like to keep it a little darker to keep the emphasis on the building. So here's what we can do. We can use another control line, but this time a negative control line. So click on this button for a control line and then hold down your alt or option key and click. See the little negative there? Click and I'll just drag this up. That puts a negative control line right there. It's a little bit on an angle. Let me see if I can straighten it up. I think right there. And remember the little trick. Take the luminance slider the whole way to the left and the chrominance slider the whole way to the left. That'll act like a graduated filter. Now, that may be a little too dark. If I want to add a little bit of selective tone to it, just take the opacity for local adjustments. And if you drag it the whole way to the right, you add the effect back in. But you can add as much or as little of that effect in. I just want to add a little bit of the effect in, and I'll take it to right there, 25%. Now let me shut off the selective tones. Here's before and here's after. Well, there you have it. That was Selective Tones Vivesa. You got to give it a try. And please leave comments and questions. I'd really love to hear from you. Well, there it is, everyone. I hope you enjoyed today's tutorial. If you did, please give it a like and share it with your friends. And if you're not yet a subscriber to my channel, please subscribe. Click the bell notification icon. Click all so that you receive all notifications. And then every time I upload a new tutorial, you'll get notified about it. I want to thank each and every one of you for joining me today in the joy of editing with Dave Kelly, and I'll see you all right here next time. But until then, happy editing.